remember the people that you connect with now are your listings or your referral sources for 2022. Hey everybody, Jay Pitts, broker owner at Remax Premier Properties, and I'm back for another episode of JTP University. Today, we're going to talk about three things you should be doing right now, it's October 13th, 2021, to get ready in Q4 for Q1 of 2022. Let's dive right in. Number one, you should be emailing or texting each and every one of your past clients that you've sold homes to in the past and asking if they would like a no obligation opinion over what their home is worth. Now, I don't mean promise a 25 page CMA. Of course, you'll be willing to do that. It's not about that, okay? It's about, and this needs to be a short, conversational, quick hit of a comment. Something to the effect of, hey, John, just interested, just wanting to know if you're interested in what your home is appreciated to this year. Something along those lines, okay? Very informal, very conversational. You never know in this tumultuous environment with price and uh, property values going up and up how people are wondering about what their home is worth. It's the greatest asset they have, okay? The equity means a lot. Maybe they're considering refinancing. Maybe they're considering upgrading. Maybe they're considering an addition to their home. You don't know where their head is, but you need to find out and you need to know now. The people you make contact with over this are your listings for 2022. Number two, you need to be doing a holiday-related door drop. These are, you know, tiny pumpkins. You can get these for like a dollar, two dollars a piece. Um, go to the pumpkin patch, buy a hundred, string them up with a little yarn, a business card, and a little bag of candy, and drop them on your past client's front door sometime in the next couple of weeks. Maybe do one for each child. I don't know. If they don't have kids, just give them one. Just give them something to remember you by. When you layer that with the text asking if they want to know their home value, that's two points of contact, two remembrances. We're in the being remembered game. Remember, the people that you connect with now are your listings or your referral sources for 2022. Number three, I need you to commit to video or recommit. Don't worry. I know all the excuses, okay? I don't like the way I look. I don't like the way I sound. I don't have a good camera. Yeah, but Jay, you can afford to pay somebody to edit your videos for you. I don't, uh, I did, uh, 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 uh. All I'm saying is all of those things are tired, okay? You're either committed or you're not. Video is a way to take your personality, deliver it to the person that you would like to trust you with the purchase or sale of the greatest asset they will ever own. And how do you expect them to trust you when you don't have the courage to put yourself out there? Look, I don't like the way I look when I stand in front of this camera. I don't like the way I sound either. Sometimes, I mean, most of the time, frankly, but I do it anyway. I do it because it's more important to my business that I get over myself and put myself out there than let my fears and insecurities rule me. I will tell you, if you will commit to 100 videos in the next 100 days, every amount of fear or doubt that you have will be shredded and gone forever. I have a couple of my best agents came back from the Tom Ferry Success Summit last week, and he encouraged them to do 100 videos in 100 days. Now, I wouldn't do 100 videos in 100 days just to do 100 videos. I would do it because of what outcome it produced for me. You never know when someone is going to engage with one of those pieces of content. Sometimes it's the one that you least expect, the one where you're more vulnerable, the one where you show your personality. And they say, you know what? Every other real estate agent I've ever met has breathed commission breath all over me, okay? All I felt like they cared about was selling me something and getting a big check that they didn't deserve. But this agent's different. So in retrospect, I want to go back to the beginning. Email, text your past clients asking if they want to know how the value of their home has increased in the last 12 months. You're going to get a lot of people engaged with that. Do a holiday-related door drop. Doesn't have to be pumpkins. Doesn't have to be Halloween. Do a pie giveaway for Thanksgiving. Do, you know, wreaths for for Christmas. I've done literally almost anything you can think of, and it always works. Number three, recommit to video. Get over yourself. 
your fears and insecurities are holding you back. Everything you ever wanted is on the other side of uncomfortable. That's all I got for this week. Appreciate you guys for tuning in to JTP University. Once again, I am your host, Jay Pitts, broker owner of REMAX Premier Properties. We'll see you next week.